A chaplain for Detroit Police Department finds herself in need of support tonight. Fire gutted the grandmother's home on the city's west side over the weekend. 7 Action News reporter Darren Cunningham tells us it will be a struggle for her family to pick up the pieces in the charred ruins. On the outside, Mary Autry's home on Bramble Street looks normal, but the junk at the curb gives a clue about what's sadly going on on the inside. As you can see, everything is destroyed and melted away from the heat. Sunday morning, 4 a.m., Autry says she received a phone call that her home had caught fire. She says she and her granddaughter were away at the time, but her daughter had been asleep inside. It's kind of hard to look at this. It's not easy. Fortunately, in the bedroom where her daughter was sleeping, there's a door that accesses the outside. Thank God for a way of escape for her. The smoke could have hurt her, killed her. That dreadful call came from her daughter, who she says oddly left the stove on for heat, which the fire department says you should never do. Autry says she has a working furnace. Now, as a relatively new chaplain for the Detroit Police Department in charge of praying for others, the minister finds herself in need of support. The chaplain corps is a blessing for my life, you know, just to be able to serve God's people. Fulfilling her purpose through service to others, also serving as a cautionary tale, sharing that her homeowner's insurance had lapsed. But because I'm a low income mom, mm -hmm. I, I had to let it go for at least three months and I had planned to put it back on before the month was out, but I didn't make it. According to Insurance Information Institute's 2020 Pulse survey, 93% of homeowners have insurance, leaving 7% uninsured. Autry says the first estimate she received for restoration was at least $10,000, not including replacing her belongings. While she's looking for help, She's keeping perspective. My main concern is my daughter is alive. If you want to help, there's a link to Autry's GoFundMe on our website, WXYZ.com. In Detroit, Darren Cunningham, 7 Action News. Thank you, Darren. And this week is Fire Prevention Week. Experts say smoke alarms are key in saving lives as they sense smoke well before humans can. Smoke alarms need to be in every bedroom and outside of sleeping areas like hallways. They should also be installed on every level of the home, including basements. Fire leaders say these alarms should not be in kitchens or bathrooms, as some fumes could set off false alarms.